I'm Emily Rooney, host and executive editor of Greater Boston. Two years ago, this month, November of 2011, my dad was in his apartment and um, reaching for the butter, which is apt because he ate a lot of butter. And he had a mini stroke. He had been taken off uh, Coumadin, a blood thinner, in order to have some minor surgery. Anyway, he was with a companion who got him right to the hospital and he was fine. He was fine for 24 hours or so. They'd give him that uh, shot, whatever it is, and it, it seemed like a, a mini miracle. But then they decided to go ahead with this m minor pr surgical procedure because he was already off the Coumadin and he seemed to be okay. Well, he, well, during the surgery, he must have had another stroke, this time fairly massive. He never recovered, he never regained consciousness, but the awful thing was that he was there. If you spoke to him, he could squeeze your hand, he recognized your voice. He couldn't eat, he couldn't swallow, he couldn't talk, he couldn't move his limbs except in a spasmodic way, but he was there. And we had to decide whether we were gonna go ahead with a feeding tube. Well, a feeding tube is much more complicated than I imagined, and there was some question about whether he would even survive that. I was worried about my dad starving to death because food was one of the most important things to him in his life. And I just couldn't imagine letting him just waste away like that for all those weeks. And we had a lot of family discussion about this. Are we going to do a feeding tube? And at one point my brother said, we were at uh, Columbia Presbyterian in New York City, he turned to one of the doctors in the room and said, is there a medical ethicist here on staff? And he looked and he says, yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Within a couple of hours, my entire family was gathered in this conference room with one of the most thoughtful, thought-provoking medical ethicists I've ever had the opportunity to interact with. And he brought in his team, too. He was not making decisions for us. He was bringing us to the point where we could make an informed decision. And what he said was really chilling. He said, you know, people don't know this exists. This is something that's available to any family, not just the family of Andy Rooney, and people don't think to ask. So while we eventually had to make the decision and we opted not to do a feeding tube, we felt very blessed to have that, those people really in our lives to be able to make that kind of a decision. And so that's my piece of advice for anybody who's in that kind of a decision and you feel like the family is torn, there's a rift over it, you don't know what direction to do, to, to go in, call in a medical ethicist.